Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is April 26, 2017. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, looking at this market, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading higher by just a quarter of a point. Right now, futures are sitting at 23.85 and a quarter per contract. Market just got this little surge here. We were negative by about a point. But again, futures did pop up a little bit. So we'll see how this plays out today. We've had two big back-to-back -back up days in the market. So we'll see if today needs the market needs to take a little bit of a break or even retrace down a little bit. Wouldn't be surprising. So we'll see what today gives us. But in the meantime, we have lots, and I do mean lots of stocks in the news. First one we're going to start off the day with is going to be U.S. Steel. Ticker symbol is letter X. Stock right now is trading at $25.32. Closed at 31.11. This is a hammering of the stock. Stock is getting absolutely pummeled, but we think it can go a little bit lower, and we're going to have gap levels ready for you today. So we're getting very, very close to our levels. Come on over, take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You'll see everything that we are doing in there. Uh, trading right alongside of us, but we will be trading U.S. Steel on this big, big drop this morning. So again, U.S. Steel selling off sharply after earnings. Now in sympathy, we have Nucor Steel, NUE, also down. We're going to watch this stock today around the $56 level if it gets there. Should be pretty good support intraday. Also, there'll be more support around 52. Next up, we're going to keep Steel Dynamics on, on tap. STLD is the, is the ticker symbol there. Stock right now is trading at $35, closed at $36.34. And of course, always watch AK Steel, which is trading around $6.27 right now, closed at $6.40 yesterday. Again, if AK Steel gets down to around $5.40, I think there could be a play there. So keep that on the radar today. That's the only level I'm looking at for AK Steel. All right, let's shift gears here. Let's go to Win Resorts. They reported earnings as well. Stock is receiving a nice little pop from the earnings. It closed at 118.22 yesterday, now trading at 122.75. I've been working on levels for this one. I do think that Win Resorts right now is showing good relative strength as of late. But again, it gets to 126.10. Watch for resistance there, and I'm going to try to have some gap levels for Win Resorts this morning. Next one we're going to take a look at is Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG. Right now the stock is trading at 475.51, closed at 471.76. So again, uh, just a little bit of upticking here. The stock did have a big, big move back above 500 yesterday after the close. Now it's come right back down, almost back to the flat line. So this will be in play today. Again, we're going to be looking at Juniper Networks, JNPR. Right now, when I look at this stock, it's getting a little bit of an uptick. Closed at 2781. Uh, make that 2778. Now trading at 2845. So again, a uh, little bit of an uptick there for Juniper. Nothing to do yet, but we will be looking at it once the opening bell rings today. Let's take a look at Seagate Technologies. <clears throat> Looks like this stock right now is trading at 4620. Closed at $50.51. So a pretty good haircut there. I will have levels ready for us in the intraday stock chat room at 9 o'clock. So again, we'll be looking at this one. Now in sympathy to Seagate, you want to take a look at Western Digital. WDC also trading down in sympathy. A level I like for Western Digital today, if it gets down there, would be 77 bucks. I'm not sure it does get there. They have earnings tomorrow morning as well. But if it gets down to 77 we want to own Western Digital today for a day trade. Next up, we're going to take a look here at Cree. It's ticker symbol is CREE. -E. Stock right now is trading at 22.75, closed at 24.82. So this is a good haircut. I am seeing some support down here around the 22.50 level. I don't love it. I don't hate it. We'll have to look at it once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at Costco. It looks like they announced a special dividend, seven dollar dividend, special dividend being announced by Costco. Stock closed at 172.68, trading at 177.85. Great move there. I'm going to give the stock the upside bias here to around 182. But if you own it already, I would trail the stop loss. So, again, if you own it, trail the stop loss. Um, ultimate upside is around 182, though. Costco still showing very, very good strength this morning. Let's take a look at PepsiCo. PEP -E is a ticker symbol there. Stock right now is trading at 113.48. It closed yesterday at 
So again, we're getting a little bit of a downtick, but not all that much. Again, um, we'll be looking at levels once the opening bell rings. I love the 109.60 level if we can get down there. Um, until then, not much to do. Let's take a look at Twitter, TWTR. Stock right now is trading at $15.97. This is a nice little uptick from the close. Yesterday it finished at $14.66. So this is a very, very good move. If you own Twitter, I would trail the stop loss immediately. But maybe it has a little bit of leg since there are a lot of shorts in this stock. Let's take a look at DFS, which is Discover Card. Stock right now is trading at $64. Volume is pretty light here, though. Can't make too much out of it. Again, my level for Discover Card today will be at $59.54. If the stock can get there, I do like it at that level. So keep that on the radar. $59.55, $59.54, right in that general vicinity. I'll also try to have some gap levels ready for Discover if we need them. With that being said, everybody, I'm going to leave it there short and sweet. Um, if you're looking at the gold market today, uh, right now we're trading down about a buck. Uh, we'll see how gold plays out. It's due for a little bit of a bounce due to an oversold condition. Crude oil getting hit down 39 cents today to $49.18 a barrel. So there you have it. We'll see how this all plays out this morning. But nonetheless, we have lots and lots of earnings. I'll be working on gap plays all the way up till the 9 o'clock hour. And again, if you want to come over and trade alongside of us, come do so. Take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. We had just a blockbuster morning yesterday. We're going to look to keep that going today. And again, it's been a great 2017 so far. With that being said, everybody, I'm going to leave it here short and sweet. I want to wish you all a great trading session, and we will see you on the charts.